Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 58. Yesterday, I introduced you to the consumer applet, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into that applet and talk to you a little bit more about the site and app settings page, your ability to create the first part of your kw.com personal website, your agent site. We'll talk about featured listings and a few other things. So come along with me. We're going to start off at the consumer applet, the very bottom icon. And we're going to click onto that. And as you'll recall yesterday, we're going to go into site and app settings. So we're going to continue where we left off. We covered everything in general. The next tab over we're going to hit is URLs. This is where you can actually choose your subdomain for the .kw.com domain. So this is actually your agent site. Um, and you can make this pretty much whatever you want as long as it is in good taste and doesn't replicate something that already exists at the kw.com site. So a lot of people do their uh, name. Obviously, you can see that's what I've selected. A lot of people do their area, uh, maybe specializations. So feel free to get creative with this. Just remember, can I fit it on a business card? Is it easy to remember? And does it reflect who I am and what I do? Uh, you can also see over here on the domain settings that it could take up to 15 minutes for your new subdomain to be reflected on your site. Um, also, once you release a subdomain, it is available for someone else to claim it. Uh, it's not guaranteed that it will be available for you when you come back. So just something to keep an eye on. As far as the app URL settings, it does say that you can you know, select your own URL and add a text code. Uh, that's not actually true. This is locked as it stands right now. So the only customization you have on this page is, again, your subdomain for your agent site. And if you'll recall yesterday, I showed you, right? So that, sorry, I don't know what just happened to my keyboard. Got a little crazy there. Um, this is what you're deciding on, is that Marty Miller part, right? Marty Miller dot kw.com. So yours can be anything you want dot kw.com as long as it's appropriate and available. That's where you choose and or customize your agent site. Next, we've got featured listings. So this is actually a section that will show up. If we come into my site and scroll down, you will see here are featured listings down here at the bottom. And you can see that because I have four or more, I've got the carousel feature, which allows me to then go through and kind of rotate through the featured listings that I have selected on the site. Um, and basically you choose those by coming in First of all, you can decide what your headline is, right? So I could change this to luxury living in Katy, Texas, right? Save those changes. And so now maybe I'm a luxury agent and I only do luxury properties. And so therefore I'm gonna have luxury living in Katy, Texas as my headline. You can make whatever headline you want here. And then as far as the properties go, you're gonna choose those featured listings by coming down and essentially clicking on select listings. And then you can show either my listings or all listings. And these are just random listings right now. I just chose a bunch of different ones um, just for purposes of this display. Um, so I can go to all listings and search for property address. Just remember if you're gonna market a listing that's not your own, make sure you're following your market center, local and state guidelines with regards to that. Um, if for any reason you come in here and you're like, oh, this isn't something I want to continue to feature. Maybe it's gone under contract. Excuse me. Maybe it's closed. Um, you can come along basically and remove those by clicking on the trash can and then saving your changes and click on that save changes button. And you should get a little pop up as soon as that is done that your changes have been saved. So that's how you work the featured listing portion of your site, change out that headline, and then actually save your changes. Oops, delete all listings, click to confirm, there we go. So you can see featured listings deleted successfully. I now have zero listings on my site. That's how you can update and feature any of your properties on your agent site. Next, you've got theme, not much here. Really, you have two choices. You can do a red theme or a dark theme. 
Um, it doesn't make a massive difference as far as what things look like. Uh, it's just some of the boxes and some of the trim, right? You can see uh, in the example there, the difference between the red and the black. Finally, you've got agent site pages. Uh, we're gonna have a video here in a couple days on how to create additional pages for your agent site. And so you can see I have some additional ones that I have already created. Those will show up in your drop down here at the top. So here are all of those um, different agent pages. You will get three that are pretty standard, and that is uh, about the team, about me, and contact us. But you can change those, and again, we'll talk about that uh, here at a future challenge. So that's the second half of our um, site and app settings page. Walk through general. Today we talked about changing the URL for your agent site, adding featured listings, deciding what kind of theme you want, dark or red, and then taking a look at how you would select or add agent site pages once they have been created. We'll get to that a little bit further in another video. That's it for today, guys. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Tomorrow, uh, I think we're actually gonna dive into the creation of agent site pages. So we may be right back here. Stay tuned for that very, very soon. Talk to you then.